Hi there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we'll be making this adorable little birthday card. It's project number three in my Butterfly Brilliance Create Kit. You can check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current Create Kit I'm offering as my customer reward. Now if you don't have the kit, that's fine. I'll give the dimensions as we go along so that you can make one of these adorable cards with us. We will be using the Butterfly Brilliance bundle. These are the dies and these are the stamps. Now these doesn't come with sentiments so we're going to be adding peaceful moments and you can check out the description below if you'd like to purchase any of these items. So let's get started making our card. So here's our kit and we're going to be needing a thick basic white um, card base. So we'll take one of these out of our thick basic white packet. We're going to need um, basic white. So let's keep these separate so we don't get them confused because it's easy to confuse. Um, we're going to need gorgeous grape. Love gorgeous grape. And we're going to need, uh, well, <laughs> um, going to need Coastal Cabana, which is the smaller piece here. I think I called it Mint Macaron earlier, but it's actually Coastal Cabana. And we're going to need Bermuda Bay. And because uh, this is our pool party here. And also, let's see, um, we're going to need um, DSP, this DSP here, with the tiny purple and green butterflies. So uh, we will need um, some embellishments, but we'll get those later. And we will need, go ahead and get these for our stamping. We need, these are, I give you two, you only need one. And it is um, a label from the uh, Hippo and Friends. I believe this is the medium, medium, uh, uh, second smallest rectangle die in the Hippo and Friends. And then we need this, which is the medium oblong die in the Hippo and Friends dies. And I'll put a link for those uh, dies as well in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our cutting. Bring in my trimmer and First thing we uh, don't need to cut our thick basic white. I'm following along on the PDF here. Um, the next is going to be basic white. We need three and three quarters. So three and three quarters. And then we need to make that five. Three and three quarters by five. That's for our inside sentiment. Then we're going to do our gorgeous grape, which is this beautiful purple here. We need two that are four, four inches, and another four inches. And we're going to need this piece here, so let's hang on to that. And then we're going to make this um, five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter for both of these. It's front and back. And actually, I think the next one we need is two and three quarters by a quarter. And so this is a quarter. So um, two and three quarters. So I guess we don't need that. We can use these. Two and three quarters by a quarter. Two and three quarters by a quarter. That worked out great, didn't it? 
So that's our gorgeous grape. Our coastal cabana, we don't have to cut that. It's four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half already. We'll be die cutting that one. And then our Bermuda Bay, we're going to do four and a quarter to start off with. And then we need three. And so we got four and a quarter by three, and then we need a five eighths by three. So I'm going to use this side over here to do my five eighths. It's easier when you have to do small numbers like that. Five eighths by three. And that's for the front as well. Okay, so that is our, our cardstock. And now we'll do our DSP. The DSP is um, three and seven eighths. So three and seven eighths. And five and a, five and one eighth. Three and seven eighths, five and one eighth. And then this piece, I think we're going to cut it to three and three quarters. And then three eighths. And again, I'm going to use this over here. Try to get that. So three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by three eighths, and that's for the inside. So we're done with this and we will use this for another project, I do believe. Okay, that's all of our cutting. The, then let's go ahead and get our thick whisper white that we kept separate, our, our thick basic white, uh, four and a quarter to score. And then we're just gonna take that and fold that forward and grab my bone folder, wherever it is and there we go now that's all ready for later when we need it and we're done with our trimmer so we're going to do our stamping next so i'm going to grab my stamparatus and we're going to be using pool party ink so i will put this over here and we'll be stamping on this piece of Whisper White, with Basic White. I have got to get used to saying that. And then our label, wherever our label got off to. Where are you, label? Here you are, over here. I give you two, but um, hopefully you only need one. You can use another one for another project. And um, I always get my four by six window sheet. Now, the first thing I want to do is the inside. I want to do happy birthday. So let me grab that stamp. Happy birthday. It's right here. And then wishing you all the happiness this special day will bring. We'll do that in, in a little bit. So... Let me go ahead and pick that stamp up. It's actually upside down. <laughs> and pick that up again. We'll stamp that image on the 4x6 window sheet. Oops. <laughs> well, permanent ink there. <laughs> um, okay, that's what I get for trying to hurry. Okay, so we're going to slide this underneath and then we can see where our happy birthday is going to stamp. And it's going to stamp in the center near the top, but not too close to the top. And then I'll remove my plastic stamp, ink of my stamp. Try not to drop my ink pad this time. <laughs> and I'm going to stamp that a little again because I like to have my images nice and rich color and maybe that Y needs a little help there okay so I'll clean that up 
I'll wipe my plastic off first and then I'll wipe my stamp off. So we have our happy birthday and now we're going to um, get our plastic, make sure it's dry. And now we'll do the wishing you every happiness. And I'll kind of put it over here in the corner just so I have plenty of room. Eat that up. Now what we're going to have to do, I hope that shows through. Um, these I'm going to have to slide that under so I've got a piece of scratch paper that I keep in my desk and it's still sticky but I just put a little bit of a seal, stamp and seal there and kind of touched it with my fingers so that it stays sticky. This one is kind of not being as sticky as I'd like but I think it'll do for another couple times. I'm going to use the image that I stamped on the plastic to help me put this in place. Okay. Hopefully this will stay in place and I can ink that stamp up again and stamp it. And I think I will do it one more time. Um, maybe just a little, this bottom part here needs a little extra ink. There we go. Okay, so that's our uh, front, but if you had a problem, you always have the extra to do. And that's it for our stamping. So I'll clean up my plastic. And my stamp. And now we're ready to do some die cutting. So what we have to do is to die cut. We need to die cut our Coastal Cabana and we need to die cut our Bermuda Bay. So here's our die and we're going to use, so we have the largest butterfly and so I'm trying to remember which one I used. It's this one here. So it's kind of like the second largest butterfly. I would say that's the largest and I think this is the next largest. So that's the one we're going to use. And then this little one is the smallest butterfly. So we'll die cut one of those. So out of the Coastal Cabana, which is the four and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to die cut one of these and one of these. So I'll bring in my stamp and cut and emboss. And I have plate one, plate two, and a plate three. I'm going to put my cardstock there and then my images with the cutting side down and then another plate three right here. And there we go. We have these. Now before we put our images away. Put those aside for now. We need to die cut a Bermuda Bay 
out of the larger butterfly and I can see make sure that it's clean that there's nothing left in there from your other cut I'm going to put that in here and I might turn it this way here and put my plate back on top run it through and there is my butterfly okay so I'm done with my stamp and cut and emboss machine so I'll put it back over here out of the way I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool die brush and I'm just going to gently go over these I don't have to do it very hard if it starts to curl just turn it over and do the other side and if it doesn't come out with the die brush you can always use the uh, pointy end and get it that way doesn't look like that cut quite all the way I usually go back and forth with my uh, when I put it through just to make sure I may have to put this through again let's see yeah I think so and you may have to do that too let's see how the others did Let's see if they came out better. These look like these are doing better. Okay, that one did fine. And then this little one, it did fine too. So I guess it's just the Bermuda Bay that I'm gonna have to run back through there. So if you do have to run that back through, just grab this again and line it up and put it there. And I'm going to actually put it down with a piece of tape so that it doesn't move because I want it to stay exactly where I want it to cut. So what I could have done to avoid that is I could have gone forward and back the first time around and I probably would have had better luck. So let's see how this it did this time. Okay, yeah, it did, did, did the trick. It is um, good to go now. Okay, so we have our butterflies. So I think we're ready to put our card together. So we'll bring in our card base. We know we have... Um, piece of gorgeous grape and they're the same size so it doesn't really matter which one we put on the front and then we have this and then on the inside we're going to have our gorgeous grape and this so let's go ahead and get that much done now I'm going to use my stamp and seal one-eighth of an inch all around and then this is going to go on top with the sixteenth of an inch all around this is going to go on our gorgeous scrape eighth of an inch all around 
and then that's going to go on the inside. Now on the inside we have um, this little strip that's going to go across the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put some glue on that and just little dots of glue. If I can get my glue to work. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh yeah, now it's working. Working too good. <laughs> it might have a little bit too much there, so I'm going to get a piece of scrap. And I'm just going to wipe some of that off because I don't want it to ooze when I put it down. It's about three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Now we're going to put our little butterfly there. I don't know how I put that on there. Did I, did I glue that? I think I did. I think I might have just put some dots of glue here, a couple there along the center of the body, right there, and I put it over there, hold it in place. <laughs> Come on, you want to stick, I know you do. If you get any glue on the butterfly and you think it will interfere with it closing, you can take a clean um, eraser and when it's dry just kind of erase it and that will take it off because you don't want any uh, things sticky on the butterfly or when you close the card it will stick closed. And that won't be any fun to get a, a card that's glued shut. <laughs> so, all right, so let's do the front. We have um, this strip and this strip here. And then we have our sentiment. And then we have a Bermuda Bay and this. Now, I put this together with... Um, a glue dot so we'll go ahead and get our glue dots out put I guess a couple of glue dots together so I kind of like piggyback them there and then I'm going to I'm going to start out by matching up the wing and then I'm going to push it down that way I know I'll get it straight. Okay, so that's ready to go on whenever we get this prepped. So we're gonna need two pieces of ribbon. So from your goodie bag, you're gonna get these two pieces of ribbon. There's a um, six inch piece of pool party sheer ribbon and a six inch piece of uh, I think this might be Pool Party or Burbuna Bay from the Playing With Patterns Ribbon Combo. So first we're going to put on the, as a bottom, we're going to put the Pool Party Sheer. And I think I'm going to put some... Uh, seal there so that when I bring this around it has something to grab onto. So sticky. <laughs> but that's what we want, isn't it? We want it to be sticky. Okay, so that's the beginning. 
and we're going to do the same thing with this. This time I'm going to put the snail over the ribbon and I have to get that started because it's and and okay so now that's sticky and ready for the top I'm just going to center it between the edges of that other ribbon and kind of have to push it in because it's this this ribbon is kind of stiff and it has a mind of its own so you have to kind of push it in really good to get it to stay and then that's going to go kind of here you just want to make sure you have room for your butterflies that they're not sticking over so that's about good so now I'm going to put some more seal on the back <laughs> all right you may have this problem too okay maybe I should have used glue do you think because when I use the seal the ribbon came up so you know what I'm going to use glue put some glue on that some glue on this when in doubt use the glue and it's about three quarters of an inch from the top of the DSP maybe a little more I'm going to center it okay before I push it down I'm going to make sure it's level here You may have to hold it down for a while to get it to, to the glue to, to stay down. It takes us just a minute for that glue to dry. But it will, it will dry. It dries pretty fast. But I used quite a bit, so it might take it a little longer to dry. All right, I think that's down to stay, I hope. <laughs> and let's see, what did I use? Oh, I used um, little dimensional. Oh, okay. So what I did is I used a mini dimensional behind the butterfly right here in the center so it doesn't show. And then I took my scissors and I cut a really small strip of off the side like that it's tiny it might be too long let me see yeah it's too long let me chop that up a little bit more okay there we go and I'm going to put that there along the back so you can see and now I'm going to remove these backing and I'm going to put my butterfly on uh, kind of in the center over the ribbon and I'm going to fluff those up a little bit now um, we'll do this part so this is going to go on top of that and get my little glue out and put some tiny little glue dots as tiny as I can get them because I don't want them to ooze so you can see how tiny they are I just basically touched the glue to the cardstock you know, move this around till I get it centered and then I'll push it down then that's going to go here 
put that on with some glue too. Just want to make sure that I can put this on here without it being too close to the bottom. Make sure it's level and even on the edges. And this I'm going to put on with some mini dimensionals. I'll pop it up. And here are my mini dimensionals. I turned it over so I could see. I, I only want to put them on the edge so that they are not over that purple part. Okay, there we go. Okay, and happiness and center it over this there we go and then the last thing is the opal um, I had these left over I don't know where I got them <laughs> they are where are they <laughs> you're here somewhere I know Aren't you? Are you? Where are you? Hmm. Okay. I hope you have some in your kit. <laughs> hmm. I'll probably find them later. Where could you be? They are little, uh, like opal things. If you can't find them, if you have some pearls. Um, I hope I didn't leave them out of your kit. I don't believe I did. I think I have some in the other room though. So these are gold glitter enamel dots and I think I might have left them out of your kit. But I don't know. <laughs> so you just need one of the larger ones and one of the smaller ones. If you don't have it in your kit, um, I'll put one here and then one of the small ones here. If you don't have it, just use some pearls. One large and maybe one medium pearl. And I apologize because I meant to put those in your kit. But I'm looking at how many I have left over and I may have forgotten. I am so sorry. <laughs> But as crafters, I know that you can you can um, compromise or improvise, <laughs> whichever the case may be. All right, well, we are done with project number three. I hope you enjoyed making this card with me. And I hope you'll join me for project number four. Thanks for watching and check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current um, Create Kit I'm offering as my customer reward. Bye now.